Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was that we basically got down another cultist. Let me bring it up here again. Uh, this guy. Okaidos? Okaidos? The Great? So we got rid of Okaidos uh, in the last episode in the Temple of Poseidon. Um, he wasn't too bad after we assassinated most of the soldiers in the area that guarded him, so... Yeah, so in this episode, we're gonna go and grab, uh, get close to the main quest. Uh, the main quest is on this part of the island, or is on, on the island that we're in right now. Uh, or land, I would say, more so than islands, because this is not a standing alone island at all. I think that's a contract over there, just having to... There we go. Just doing that just to see what the hell I'm getting out of it. Um, because it seems like I would have gotten something soon, I guess. Or actually, no, I wanted to test to see how much nation power we lose with assassinating those guys. But I think there's this weird thing going on where it's like, we don't know if they're Athenians or not. Excuse me? Yeah, because I know they're Athenians here, right? Like, the island is all Athenian-based. Damn it. Ugh. Whatever. Like, this whole area, this land, is, like, all about the Athenians here, because it's, this is controlled by Athenians. But the part of me was, like, wondering what is the complication here. Because there seems to be a lot of enemies who dress up like the Athenians, and a lot of the Athenians are, like, shown and proving that they're, like... I don't know, like, they don't look like bad guys to me. Or Athenians are never that, like, bad kind of thing, but, like, it just makes themselves seem that way, I guess, somehow. I can interact, yes. Alright, let's get the, uh, contracts that have no time. I don't want to deal with the timed contracts because they're just usually annoying for me. Alright, cool. I'm guessing that the star... The forced starvation is actually like a contract that has a story to it, maybe? Oh no, we're just destroying resource grades. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was something like more uh, more valuable or interesting. But it's a Spartan crate, so that's the weird part of it. Yeah, it seems like this is like a Spartan area, maybe. Kind of strange though. I don't see. I don't even see any Spartans whatsoever. Yeah, I see some Athenians over here. Okay. There we go. I just wanted to get that resource at least. All right. That was kind of. That was kind of awkward because they were just like. It, I don't know, like, again, like, Athenians don't seem like bad guys, but then they make themselves a bad guy in this game somehow, which I'm unclear of why they are like that. Alright, let's make our way towards the, uh... There we go. Let's go over there to track the main quest, because I did say I was going to go to the main quest eventually, so... Mind as well. I don't know if, it, if the requirement is me literally using the boat, but... We'll see. Because I already reached a, a, Attica, Attica already, so I don't think that we're not qualified for the quest yet, so we'll see what happens here. I'm not on the boat either, so that's the weirder part for me. Because I'm just making my way towards, like, from the land to the location I need to be at. So it's kind of awkward, but it's like, I don't know if that's, if this will still trigger something, like a cutscene or something of the sorts. But we'll see what happens from here. But yeah, another uh, talking points, I guess I would call it. I don't really have news or updates or anything because I already mentioned all of them in the last episode. Um, I mean, of course, I gotta mention, you know, some of these updates and news usually turn pretty much old news, I guess, depending on how things go, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, like, usually in the future, like, somebody watches episode 100-something for this series, I bet. Like, I bet I'm gonna probably hit 100-plus 
videos for this series easily, but... I'm just stepping over his merchandise. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, okay. Interesting that it's just like a little small market there. Um, but yeah, like, usually when somebody watches like further away, like, or if 100, episode 100 is already at, like a thing here in this, in this series, then all these like things I usually say end up being old news and like, it, it's kind of interesting because I've seen, I've done YouTube for like about eight plus years at this point now. Uh, and it's like, it's interesting to see some of the older stuff. And thinking back, like, wow, what I said there back then was, like, at least different from what I said now. And, like, the way I speak or the way, the words I, the word choice that I make were different from where, when I was doing the thing back then. And it's interesting because, like, the, the way I choose my words were a lot interesting for me. More so than the way I speak because the way I speak usually is the same sort of, I would say, but it's usually because over time, like, I've started using the word less sometimes, and I just end up not saying the same word again. There we go. I don't know if it's gonna sail in or something. Yeah, we just walk in <laughs> with him. When you're ready, meet me at the Pnix in Athens. Okay. Wait. That was it? Oh my god. Was I supposed to keep sailing towards here and then he would say more stories or something? Oh man, if I missed out on some story pieces, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just, sometimes, again, like, they, they allowed it to be very open. Like, this game feels too open for me to know if I did something wrong or I missed out some kind of story. And I think that it's hard to cover tracks, I guess I would say. Like, cover tracks to make sure that people who do things differently will get another piece of the story differently than the other person, uh, or than, uh, rather than the person who actually followed the experience straightforwardly. Alright, so we need to make our way through these two areas here. Yeah, I guess we can try to do that. Okay, let's make our way there, I guess. Kind of awkward that he just left us behind. And it's like, you have to go here specifically just to drop him off, like, Jesus, really? Alright, I mean, this is still be- like, I still like the, the peacefulness and the beautifulness of, like, Greece. Like, this whole landscaping and everything looks so beautiful. I won't re like, I, I wouldn't even regret, like, just going through here just, like, just to explore the areas. For the time being. Just, like, how beautiful it is right now. Like, the beauty of the world is... Enough for me to... The beauty, the beauty of it all is enough for me to just, like, just wander around and just not say anything, really. There we go. I think that it raised the bounty, so that's like the interesting part for me. I'm like, why? I'm kind of curious how far this AI is going to follow me, though, actually. Nope. <laughs> He's just going to get freaking lost in the back here. Yep, there we go. Okay, I just want to see how far it would take for me to just, like, run off without having to fight the dude here. Wait, is he actually just going into, like... Let's see what this city has in store for me. Damn. Alright, cool. That's pretty cool. I like how the camera just cuts out, but at the same time, that was so abrupt. The camera cutting out to just show me Athens. If I recall that uh, one of the best architectures for from Greece is the uh, the building, the whole structure up there, I think. It was... I forgot what it's called. I think it was the Temple of Athena. Like, Athena, uh, Athena's Temple kind of thing. Um, and I think that was the exact thing that uh, two different professors have 
talked about to me, I think, personally, about, like, how the level design and the architecture blends very well in for this. So, let's head up there at the very least. I, I do want to explore it a little bit or revisit it a little bit. Because I know in real life people do explore it or get to see it. We, like, I haven't seen it in person yet, so that's, like, an interesting point for me in general. One of, like, Acropolis Sanctuary. Huh. Okay. Climbing up. Up, 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 up. Plus there's a viewpoint, so I'd rather just go up here and just get to the viewpoint, at the very least. And climbing up. There we go. I don't even know where the entrance is, so I'm going to probably have to walk my way back up again. Okay, the entrance is on the other side of... Oh, come on, really? Okay, let me go back to the other side. Let me just walk around it. Screw it. I just want to see the whole, like, entrance from the entrance way. I just... I guess if you climb over, that's, like, the easiest way to get through it. But... What the heck? Interesting. This is a weird location that I've never seen before. You're up and down here, I guess. Whoa, that's a lot of crows. Are those a bunch of crows, really? Yeah, why is there a bunch of crows here? Is it like... It seems like there's a lot of dead bodies and such or something. Probably a lot of death happening in the area, so it's like... A bunch of crows are just like doing their thing. Let me see if the thing has added some more contracts I can pick up. None. Damn it. Sucks that they all share the same sort of like contract work stuff. Okay, so I believe this is a way to get up to the temple, right? Ooh, that's some weird interesting way <laughs> just getting me up. Okay, so it's another it's all the way on the other side here. And the place I need to go to find, uh... Oh, this is the Theater of Dionys Dionysus. That's interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm just looking at the, the theater. I'm wondering if there will be performances playing out at the nighttime. If there were reenactments of the various sorts, but untracked target press yeah. oh there's the uh oh that's the uh, other stuff okay cool prince of persia yeah the quest where we just explore certain like like locations target to kill or kill captain what this place has a lot of things going on, it seems like. Statue of Athena. Oh wait, is this the statue that's supposed to be built for the Athena, I guess? Not even done building, but that's nice. Yeah, so this is where it starts, I believe. So you just climb, you just walk over here and you just climb these stairs up to the top. And it was really interesting because it's like, it's trying to build your anticipation by making you go up higher and higher. Like, you don't see anything much, but you see, like, the temple here. Going around the temple around here. And then from here, the beautiful part of it is that it's... The famous Acropolis. A testament to humankind's skill and craftsmanship. And then here we go. It's like the reveal. It's really nice to see, like, you just climb from the bottom of the Theater of Dionysus and then make your way to the top slowly. And it's still covering up like this, like this, the Athena, the Athenian statue or the statue of Athena, up until the point where you just literally get into the area and find the statue itself, which is fantastic. I really love that. Um, and I think that's one of the bigger points of why the uh, level design worked very well for this particular map or particular uh, place. Can I climb this lady so I can get the viewpoint at least? I'll, I'll pick up the side quest once I get to the, uh, get to the thing. 
Alright, we're almost to the top of our helmet. There we are. Man, this is like one beautiful place still. I'm kind of curious if the statue still stands. I don't think the statue still stands if I recall the being. Like, I think the statue collapsed or something like that. A papyrus says it was written by Themistocles, the Athenian general. Man, this is some beautiful place here. Yeah, and then there's the Athenian, uh, or Ath Athena's, like, temple temple. There we go. ...of war and wisdom. Does it please you, I wonder, to watch your city on the verge of battle? I wonder what this guy's going on about. I might have a job for you, if you're as good a fighter as I've heard. You've heard of me? Fist the Fury? Don't let it go to your head. I hear about everything that happens in this city, Mystios. With flattery like that, how could I possibly turn you down? I'm not trying to flatter you. Mm. I'm trying to hire you. I need some Spartan military targets removed. I think you may have the wrong idea about me, General... Demosthenes. I'm not a murderer, if that's what you expected. I expected you were someone who wants to get paid. Was I wrong? No. no. Not completely. Fine. What do you want? My spies tell me the Spartans are mobilizing. What I want you to do is hamstring them. Get into their forts and remove the commanders in charge. I guess that makes sense. I'm thrilled you approve. You'll need to bring me the sailors of the commanders you kill as proof. You'll be amply rewarded. Those don't seem like standard Athenian tactics. They're not. But it will work, and that's what matters. We've already lost too many Athenians to those savages using traditional warfare. The other generals disagree, but I refuse to let them destroy our chances. What do they want to do? They want honorable face-to-face -face warfare, pitting our forces directly against the Spartans. We're not going to win a contest of strength against those brutes. We need to outthink them. So, will you kill the commanders? Sure. All right, I'll take the job. Good. I might not have approval to deploy our men to do this, but I'm not about to let that stop me. Um, what's seals. so special about these seals? Only elite Spartan commanders carry these seals, those in charge of entire forts. They'd all die before parting with them. So bring me the seals as proof that they're dead. Where can I find them? The Spartans have been making inroads into Athenian territory, taking over forts that once belonged to us. Make them pay for every inch. Hmm. What's your strategy? Whatever it takes to protect Athenian lives and kill Spartans. That's not what I meant. What's your personal strategy? <laughs> My career is none of your business. <laughs> know that I don't seek much. Only proper recognition of my strategic brilliance. I'm kind of curious if this guy would have been... Like, it's interesting if it was a cultist who disguised themselves as... A side character, and then eventually we'll come to kill that person because we have to. You've told me enough. But I'll get your seals for you, General. But we'll see. I mean, I don't even know much about this. Creating opportunity, huh? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I forget the most of the structural, uh, structural terms of what some things are so forgive me if I forgot what they are but <laughs> I mean forgive me if I'm trying to remember them a little bit here okay I get it I get it I just want to see the uh, the temple of Athena which had like a yeah it had like a storytelling piece up on the top of the the, Pan the Partheon there we go that's the name of it I can't remember the name at all. I'm sorry, I just forget the name. It's been so long since I've looked into this further. But I remember that the the top here has like a story of how Athena and I believe was Poseidon. I think Poseidon was helping her. Yeah, Poseidon's on the right here, I think. So like Poseidon was helping her. Like they were basically fighting out some particular like battle of sorts. It's a re it's like a storytelling reenactment of like the whole thing. Oh man, this roof is different. What the heck? I've never seen this roof style before. For, compared to the other roofs I've seen so far, this is like a lot different from the other roofs. 
that I've seen with the other architects or ar architectures from the places we've been to, temple-wise. Okay, well, and then the other side is a different story, but I think they didn't really change it out this in this part. But yeah, it basically tells the story of like how like the glories that Athena uh, Athena was has been through, kind of thing. I believe one side had. The fight between, or the fight with Poseidon and Athena side by side, and then the other one was uh, her being born or something like that, I think. I think that was like the two stories, the big two stories of Athena that shows up as like the top of the, of the uh, Partheon. But otherwise, yeah, this whole place looks really amazing. I really like it so far. And there it is! There's the... <laughs> I forgot what the freaking term, the exact term of what they are, but they're technically statues that resembles ladies. Um, I think they don't look like this exactly. I believe they look different. I can't remember exactly if they look like this, but I'm pretty sure they were like lifting the, the, the column of sorts rather than standing like that, but I might be wrong uh, because it's been a while since I've seen the pictures of what they look like now. But it is funny because nowadays it's just pure white. Like they're they're not colored like they used to, um, compared to this particular place. But yeah. Otherwise, I mean, I don't know too much about Greece still. Like I only know the mythology and I know some sorts of the architecture. I won't say I know exactly word for word for the architecture side of things. Mythology, however, I probably know enough to just get by with what I can listen to or hear about. But otherwise, yeah, so far I would in I'm saying this is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic remake, I guess I would call it. Would it be a remake? I don't even think so. Oops, sorry. Or a restructure, maybe. No, not restructure. A re... A digitalization of the, the <laughs> old Greece. There we go. That's the better words, I guess. I didn't realize we could just walk from here down here. That's really nice. Yeah, you don't even see the statue from down here either. Like, the statue is not even remotely close to, like, being seen from outside. It's really nice that they block it out, too, as well. Uh, to give you that big reveal when you get into it. Alright. A little laggy. Sorry about that. I'm seeing it, like, lagging a little bit. Alright, let's get to, uh... Hirodotus. See what he has to say about, uh, or what do we need to do about with the uh, main story stuff for here? I hear arguments somewhere. Are people angry or something? I'm kind of curious because I'm hearing something. I'm hearing some like bickering and arguments. The Spartans may draw near to our walls, but we must come together now for the glory of Athens. Glory for you. What friend, the heck? Friend, <laughs> Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew. The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Oh. Okay, I guess. Oh wow, he's actually... He's the father of democracy and he's actually the leader of this whole area. Holy hell. Stay back. She's no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? 
You did great, I guess. <laughs> no, she he didn't even do great at all. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he didn't say much really. That's the par. That's the that's the problem in a weird way. Pericles didn't say much at all. I guess I I'll say this. I think you and Cleon both made good points. Good points aren't at all what the crowd seem to care about. They're afraid, and Cleon indulged their fear. Pericles, we've come to. We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Oh. Well. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Irodoto said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Probably dead. Done. My friend Phidias needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Oh God! Yes, there is an ostracism vote taking place that could use your uh, influence. I have to do an escort quest for this one. Oh man, I hate this. Is a I, I kind of don't like escort quests in this game a little bit because. Potentially the person could die, but they don't fail me, I don't think, yet. Meteochos, you said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Again, he might be dead. I, I feel like he might be dead because of how he hasn't met him yet. Or he probably is being caught up with some business that's probably preventing him from doing that. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism. Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Yeah. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. <laughs> it's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. Okay. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Alrighty. So that's a quest complete, I'm guessing. There seems like somebody in the crowd who wants to give me a quest, I'm guessing. Oh, is this guy? I saw you talking to my associate, Pericles. From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. Yeah. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? Yours. <laughs> he was elected. Athens is the seat of democracy. Oh, it is. It's just that the wrong man is sitting in that seat. No, it's did not. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful while we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. My services don't come cheap. I understand the wills of commerce and the needs of the people. I will pay you handsomely for your services. I feel like failing this quest for him. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me. The Spartans howl outside our city walls. 
Create chaos among their ranks. Make them suffer as we do. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth, too. I'll get it done. Trust me. This is a huge opportunity for you. Ah, oh, man. You're another one guy who says the same bullcrap again. For the people. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if this is going to affect this main story in some capacity or not. I'm also curious why they marked Pericles as the main leader of this place. If he if he is being marked as the leader, wouldn't that just mean he's up for kills for me? And that's the bad part? Like, wouldn't that cause problems for everybody in this place either ways? Now I'm just curious, like, if somebody chose to, like, assassinate, uh... trying to think what I'm, what I'm trying to say is uh it would be interesting if somebody tries to assassinate Pericles and then just aim to just do a war all-out war for some reason I don't know why you would ever do that but it just kind of bothers me a little bit for sure but yeah it's, it's an interesting point to see that they have done their stuff here at the very least um, okay, so we got two out of the five locations done, so we got three more to go, which I haven't been to Corinthia or Arcadia or Laconia, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them before, or at least been someplace near them before. And there's a lot of quests on the freaking map here. Yeah, Corinthia's over here, which I'm not the right level for. Arcadia's all the way down here. Where's... I'm trying to remember where the hell these guys are so I can remember to visit these places sooner or later. Laconia? Where is the- where the hell is Laconia? That's Lochris. At least these two are nearby each other, Corinthia and Arcadia, but Oh, there's Laconia, right there. Okay, cool. So they are very close to each other anyways. Got it. Cool. Um, yeah, we are out of time for sure. So, let me think of what I want to do next here. Or what I want to do here at the very least. Uh, ostracized... Yeah, let's go do this in the next episode. We'll do the A Venomous Encounter first, and then I'll make my way to some of these side character stuff, uh, which is... What is this? Oh, those are just smaller things. Um, yeah, after the A Venomous Encounter, I'm going to probably go and try to do... Either For the People or uh, Creating Opportunities, because I do need to get the pole marchers, pole, pole mergers for one of these contracts because there's two of them that was considered. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh no, this pentaconters. Never mind. There's pole marchers. Never mind. Yeah, I thought pole marchers were pentaconters for some reason. My brain is just forgetting that that's the case. But if we can see to find three of them, then that will definitely help us out a lot. But otherwise, I want to try to do one of these two, or both of these side stuff first before we move into the main stuff again. So that we can get some experience points and also get some some of the additional like tools to help us get stuff that we need to get done. Uh, get that out of the way. Also, I haven't seen the blacksmith on the map. Have I seen the blacksmith on the map? There it is. I see it. I might go to the blacksmith. No, actually, let's go to that blacksmith. But... Yeah, that will be in the next episode anyways. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode or another video of mine. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can nice one of watching this. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next episode again. Hopefully we'll see where the main story is going to drag us towards. Because right now the main story is a little fuzzy for me. Because I feel like there's so much going on. Yet there's so little meat to the main stuff that I've been seeing so far. 
uh, like there's so little meat to make me entice myself to go further into the main story. A lot of the stuff I'm more interested in is upgrading my ship and gears or like hunting down cultuses uh, or just doing some random activities that I'm seeing like side quests and stuff. And I think a lot of the side quests are interesting as well, but some of them are just like a little bit iffy with me sometimes, but uh, that's due to the choice of what we make as a character. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope to you guys in the next episode anyways. And uh, yeah, Roz. Ah.